Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met remotely with professional Bahraini athletes abroad. His Highness conveyed to them the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of success. His Highness expressed pleasure with the honorable levels presented by Bahrain professionals who are present in Gulf, Arab, continental and international arenas. His Highness affirmed that the professionalization of Bahraini athletes abroad enhances Bahrain's progress in sports, which is reflected on the development of the athletes' levels. He added that the professionalism of Bahraini athletes reflects the confidence of the clubs and sports authorities in them and their capabilities. He urged them to continue presenting their best levels to achieve positive results and enhance Bahrain's positive on position on the global sports map. His Highness was also reassured on all matters related to the living and technical aspects and instructed the GSA CEO to communicate with official authorities in the kingdom to facilitate all procedures for them and to sponsor them through diplomatic missions in these brotherly and friendly countries. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to Element Sports Club. His Highness met with the owners of the club, Ali Munferadi and Ahmed Aqil, and a number of members. He praised the role of the club in serving the sports sector of the kingdom through its various activities and programs. He was briefed on the future plans of the club and hailed the role of the clubs in enhancing a healthy lifestyle. His Highness affirmed the important role of these clubs in achieving further progress progress and achievements on the local and international levels. The owners expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness's visit, which reflects his keenness to serve the sports sector in the kingdom. They praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting the sports sector in order to achieve further progress and prosperity. The Minister for Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, paid an inspection visit to development and services projects in the Southern Governorate, which is based on the approval of the Cabinet, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the Ministry exerts continuous efforts to ensure that all regions of the Kingdom are included in the services development work. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness to continue communicating with citizens through field visits to listen to their needs. The Minister said that work is underway as part of the Ministry's strategy to implement a number of development and services projects in the Southern Governorate, which contributes to achieving the citizens' aspirations. He also added that work is expected to start on the project to develop the intersection of Rafa Street with Muharraq Street during the third quarter of this year. The Ministry of Housing distributed certificates for East Citra project and keys for Salman City units. This came as an implementation of the Royal Directors of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The Ministry continued housing distributions to eligible citizens at an accelerated pace of work. It affirmed the integration of the action plan with regard to establishing new cities and projects for citizens with the aim to achieve the economic recovery plan and meet the aspiration of the people of Bahrain. 
The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, continued to intensify inspection campaigns as it inspected 146 shops and commercial establishments in various governorates of Bahrain to review their readiness to implement the value-added tax as its modified basic rate as and to raise awareness on the mechanisms to be followed during this stage. During the inspection campaigns, 118 violations were detected with administrative fines up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars in accordance with the value added tax law in addition to detecting cases that may be considered as VAT evasion in accordance with the law which necessitated the closure of two stores. The ministry in cooperation with the NBR is in the process of taking legal measures against violating establishments and referring those who are proven to have committed a VAT evasion crime to the relevant authorities. The NBR stressed the importance of concerted efforts to ensure the successful implementation of the law and called on all citizens and residents to submit complaints when noticing any violations. The development of the ICT sector and the digital economy is one of the priority sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which comes in line with achieving the objectives of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. More on this report. A strategy that comes within the priority of developing promising sectors, part of the economic recovery plan, with the aim of developing the production, service and economic sectors and achieving comprehensive economic development. The strategy of the communications and information technology sector and the digital economy also came to enhance the role of electronic commerce in a way that contributes to the development of the national economy. This national strategy comes to be implemented by supporting the digital economy by enhancing the role of e-commerce. This strategy also aims to create an integrated environment for e-commerce and make the Kingdom of Bahrain the preferred center for e-commerce in the region by developing policies and regulatory frameworks and improving consumer confidence in e-commerce in addition to support for small and medium-sized enterprises. Several initiatives were launched in this regard, which were represented in the launch of the electronic complex mall.bh and the setting of standards to attract international companies to the activity of online sales and the inclusion of the activity of online selling within the Sajilli program, as well as the definition of the e-marketplace within commercial activities and the organization of the e-commerce conference for small enterprises and other initiatives that contribute to revitalizing the e-commerce movement in a way that ensures the continued progress and prosperity prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain and meets the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,211,478 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,190,556 had taken the second, and 916,821 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 24,690 with 1,629 recoveries and 3,459 registered new cases. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.